There's one that's alive, or was alive. Let's see. It's still alive. Oh, poor thing. So we found some guinea eggs in the field and we thought that we would open them up to see if they're fertile and they have the little white dots. There's a little white dot from the guinea egg and then there's a really faint one right there. That's all I saw on out of... And we have two females. We think we have two females. So we gotta find out what's in these eggs. Yeah, we need to hatch them out. All right, well we have got some guinea eggs. We've been collecting eggs if I can do this without dropping them. We've been collecting guinea eggs over the past week and we are not sure if they're fertile. We think we have two females, but we've seen some eggs that are actually fertile when we open them to eat eggs in the morning. So we're gonna see what happens. If these are guineas, they're somehow guineas mixed with chickens or what's going on. June 30th or July 1st, right around there is our first official day. So July 26th through 28th, we should start to see some action. So pretty wild, we had our first guinea hatch. That's not the wild part. The wild part is that we think we have two female guineas because we're getting two eggs a day. Now I know some people have said they can get two eggs a day from their chickens. Typically that's not the case. Most chickens or fowl need 26 hours to produce an egg. So for us to consistently get two eggs a day for weeks at a time, just doesn't seem possible to be coming from one bird. So what we're thinking is that a chicken is the father. But how does this happen? How does a chicken breed with a guinea? And what are the results of that? We're gonna talk about that. father is. We gotta take these to the brooder, buddy. You wanna hold a couple? I'm gonna hold one. Okay. It's so cute. Think he looks like a chicken or a guinea? I looks like a like a gray guinea. Like a gray guinea, yeah. Very cute, huh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put him in the brooder with his brothers and sisters. All right, we've got the four guineas moved into the brooder. There's two more eggs left. Not sure if anything's gonna happen with those. They were looking good prior to hatching. Not sure if they're gonna make it or not. The big plus is it's 90 plus degrees outside right now. So during the day, they don't need any heat. It's very warm in here. I'll probably just have to put the heat plate. I use a Brinzy heat plate at night um, that I'll put in here tonight. You wanna hold the hook bill, Duck? It's so big. What should we call this this guy? I don't know. He's only one. No. He's a big snow it's duck. It's really pretty colors, huh? This is our hook bill duck. Uh, maybe about six weeks old. Getting a good curve on that bill. Mo this is our small and chewing. Let me see, right? Maybe let's put them together and see what's the difference. Yeah, put, hold them together. Got a Polish chick and a mottled hudan right here. They look very similar, but opposite coloring. All right, we've got the Cornish cross in here and we're not letting them out today because today is their processing. We've got 10 of them, so uh, this will free up a lot of space in here because we had 30 meat chickens. And so these guys being about nine weeks are definitely full size, ready for processing. They've done a great job, but this is why we raise them. We raise them for meat to feed our family. And so it's not something we're gonna show today, but that's something that's gonna get done today. a cucumber that got way too big to our pigs this morning. Let's 
So these guinea eggs, we had some guinea eggs out here under the broody hens. And I saw her pecking on these guys. The eggs had gone cold and these guineas, this one had been killed. But there's one that's alive, or was alive. Let's see. It's still alive. Yeah, why are they picking on it like that? Oh, poor thing. Is he alive? I think it's still alive, I hope, yeah. We need to take it inside and clean it up. Incubator. We can see on the rest of the eggs, hopefully. So we've had the broody hens. We've got a couple different egg projects going on out here. The other two failed. But these guinea eggs were under these hens and they were, these four, her, Amelia, she's sitting on the failed eggs barred rock and then the blue laced red. They've been moving between these four boxes and they finally hatched tonight. But we've got one dead, one alive and gotta see if we can keep it alive. First thing I wanna do is try to get this chick warmed up. This guinea keat has not been sat on for, I'm not sure how long the eggs felt pretty cold. So besides getting beat up on the head, hasn't been kept warm at all. So I just want to get it warm first and then we'll, we'll see if it's able to start walking again. All right, well, I just heard the first peep from this little guinea keat. So I think we've got it kind of back to normal room temperature. Now we're going to put it in an incubator just to sit overnight and hopefully get warmed up. Hatching. Mm. Unfortunately, last night the guinea keat that was injured seemed to be recovering, was starting to peep throughout the night. We could hear it from our bedroom. But we woke up this morning and it died, so it didn't make it. Not sure if any of these other eggs will hatch or not because they've been off these eggs for a while, so they were pretty cool, but see if anything happens today. All right, well, we're on to the next part of our mission. Now that we've seen these guinea chicks, that we want to figure out who the parents are. If it's the Lavender Orpington rooster, which is what I'm assuming is happening. But since we're gonna go out there and hang out with the chickens for a little bit and film them, we've got a little treat here. We got a package from Grub Terra. We worked with these guys earlier in the year on an Indiegogo campaign, and we just got in a bunch of packages. Let's go try them out on the chickens. All right, here's our rooster. And there's a couple of guineas right there. Ooh, here's all the grubs. Let's see if the chickens like them. That's in your hand there. I like it. Here, chicky, chicky. 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 Here, chicky, Even though I didn't get to see the guineas breed with the Lavender Orpington, I saw them around each other the entire time. And they used to be scared of each other. The rooster would hide from the guineas. So, so his comfort level with them lets me know that they are close and obviously he's the father of those babies. Any babies? Nothing else is hatched. We'll leave them in there, but don't think we're gonna see them hatch them. So this is our last guinea that was hatched from when we had a male guinea in with the female. So you can see the coloring, it's a combination of the pearl and the purple. Don't think there's any chicken in this one. So these guineas are about 10 days old and these are a mix from 
the chicken and the guinea. So what do you think these are called? Are these called gickens? Like guinea chickens? Are they called chinnies? What do you call these things? I saw some pictures online of some chickens that were crossed with guineas. Oh, get this. I even saw peafowl that were crossed with guineas. Mm. Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. They were like peacocks, but with a guinea head. So Becky, can you believe that we started this in the middle of June? We started talking about these, and now here it is, first week of August, and we, we finally have some guinea chickens. Yeah. We're excited to see how these guys look when they're older how they grow up, and how they behave. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. You know, it'd be really cool. What if we crossed the guineas with the I am Chamanis? Ooh. Then 